Sierra YouTube channel. Before I get started today, you know, we always ask you guys a question and my question for today is what type of designs you guys like to do the most? And for me, my favorite thing to do is ombre nails. And glitter. And glitter. And, and rainbow. And rainbow and color blocking. And, and stone. And stones. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. But anyways, today we'll be doing some LV nails with a little bit of ombre and uh, V cuts. All right, guys. Here you go, check it out. Alright guys, we're gonna place this powder close to the cuticles without overlapping the cuticle first and that is done. I am gonna use the tip of the brush and lightly push it towards the cuticles. And then now we're gonna pull it down, press and pull the rest of the products down. And this time I won't be pulling it all the way to the tip of the nails because I will be doing a V cut on this look. So now that is finished, I'm gonna clean off the edges. And for me to make sure my cuts is even, I will mark the center of the nail first. I'm finding the center of the nail like so. And then I will dip my X-Acto knife in monomer before I make my first cut. The reason why is when you dip your knife into monomer when you do your cut, the acrylic won't stick to the knife and it gives you more of a cleaner cut like that. You see? And you notice how my um, acrylic is more of a matte look. That's when you know it's ready to cut. When it's too, it's too, too shiny, you go to make the cut, your line won't be straight that's not a issue okay if that does happen if your lines aren't super straight we can go in wait till it dry first and you're gonna go in with a hand file and straighten it out like so all right now that is done I am gonna go in with number 180 this is number 180 from not polished and I'm gonna go in very lightly and slowly okay guys and make sure I press it against the French cut like that to make sure it's super straight and it doesn't overlap on top of the nude make sure you don't overlap the nude on top i mean the red on top of the nude make sure you keep it really clean and if you accidentally get it on top of the nude just dip your brush in monomer a little bit of monomer and clean it off there you go and now that is done we will be putting on some red glitter notice how i kept the whole thing the whole french more of on a thinner side because we're going to be encapsulating this look all right now i am just going to go in with a little bit of red glitter at the tip like so there you go just a little bit and now that is done, I am going to go in with the crystal clear powder and place it just above where the V French is at. Alright, now that is done, I am going to lightly press and pull it down towards the tip of the nail. There you go. Press and pull it all the way to the end and just cut it off like so. And make sure you guys keep the shape of the shape of the nails okay and when everything is dry i'm gonna go in with the five in one cross bit from not prop not polish there you go and what i'm doing is just shaping in the side of the nails i am tapering in the shape like that the reason why i am doing this is because it will save me a lot of time to hand file later there you go just kind of taper in the side now we're just gonna go in and smooth out the rest of the nail on the top there you go we're just gonna smooth everything out And that is done I am gonna go in with the hand file and just shape up the nails there you go and make sure you buff everything and I'm gonna go in with the not polished jewelry gel and I will place it where 
wherever I am going to put my stones at. And then now I'm just going to place my stones directly on. The bigger the stone, the little bit thicker of the more of the products I would use, the more of the gel I would use, okay? And then I'm just going to place the rest of the gems on. There you go. And then that piece. Okay, now that is done. I am going to go in with my matte top coat and place it on the whole nails. And while doing so, make sure you guys do not get the matte top coat on top of the gems because that will make the gems lose the shine, okay? And if you accidentally put it on top of the gem just a little bit, just cure it. And after it's cured, just go in with a tiny bit of gloss to make sure you make it shiny again. Okay, for our first bead, I'll place it about 75% of the nail first and I will flatten down the top area. And now that is done, I will pull the rest of the product down towards the tip of the nails. And when I'm doing this, I make sure I keep the client's finger at a downward angle. Make sure the client's finger is pointing down because you want gravity to take over and help pull in the products in the same direction that you're going. Alright, you do not want to go against gravity. Just go with the gravity there you go and then now just clean off the tips a little bit to straighten it out and keep the shape of the nails for the second bead I'll place it about 90% close to the cuticle like so clean off my brush and dip it in a little bit monomer now that's done I would use the tip of my brush and just flush in the products towards the cuticle like so you see how I flush it in and make it really thin around the cuticles and now I'm just going to pull the rest of the product down, you see? Now I'm just going to pull the rest of the product down. Alright guys, and when this is done, I am going to go in with the hand filing and the buffing and finish the whole thing. But I'm not going to show you guys that whole process because I don't want to waste your time any longer. So here you go. This is the finished product for this nail and now that it's done I'm gonna go in with the ombre gel from not polished I will apply it on the whole nail all right after you've done applying on the whole nail I will cure it for 30 seconds okay and again I will before I cure this I am gonna clean off the edges the reason why I'm doing so is because gel likes to run off on the side a little bit and that can ruin the shape so I'm just gonna make sure I clean it off and then cure it and now this is cure for 30 seconds. I will go in with my ombre brush and just dip the brush directly into the number 180 and just lightly brush it on, you see? Apply more pressure. I'm just going to remove that lint. Apply more pressure at the tip and lighten the pressure as you go up so that gives you more of the transitioning of the ombre. So more pressure at the tip like so. And as you work your way up, you lessen the pressure in the brush, okay? There you go. You see, this is the easiest way to do ombre. You see? There you go. And when we're done with this nail, I'll be applying the LV stickers on. But you see this area right there? It still have the ombre gel base on it. It won't, the LV sticker won't stick to it if it's still sticky residue right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a top coat and I'll put on the whole nail, okay? Let's put on the top coat on the whole nail first. And then make sure you clean off the side. You see how it kind of runs off a little bit on the side. So I'm going to use my hand and just lightly brush it off on the edges to make sure that my shape stays sharp. You see that little piece right there? There you go. Just lightly brush it off. And then now that is done, I cure it, all right? I cure it in the light for 30 seconds. And now that is cured, I am going to place my stickers on. Now you see how my sticker just sticks on it really easily. And there you go. 
and I'll just use the tip of my tweezer to make sure I press down the stickers to where there is no air bubble showing, okay? If you have air bubble showing through, when you put on your top coat, it will actually show through. So make sure there is no air bubble. Again, same things for this one. Make sure when you put it on and smooth it out to there is no air bubbles, okay guys? Any air bubbles will show through when you put on the top coat. So you gotta make sure you spend enough time to flatten it out very well. And all these stickers are available on notpolish.com also. Right now that is done. I am gonna go in with a base gel first. Any type of base gel. This will help your sticker last and longer, okay? Now that base gel is on, I am gonna cure it, and then I am gonna go in with a matte gel top coat. Or if you want shiny gel top coat, that's fine also. I just want the matte look. So I'm gonna go in with the matte gel top coat. And again, clean off the edges just to keep the, the shape of your nails more sharp, all right? And now that is done. I'll just make sure that I got the whole thing covered. And then I'm just gonna cure it into the lights for 30 seconds. There you go. Notice how there is no air bubble in that sticker. And with this finger, I'll be working with raw glitter today. So I'll just put down a thin layer of clear acrylic first and using my wet brush i just pick up the glitters and just press it into the nails like so and then you just press it in and when this clear layer of acrylic on the bottom is dry so my glitters won't stick to the nails anymore what i'm gonna do now is i picked up a little bit more clear powder with the glitter and just apply it back on like so there you go. And all I'm doing right now is just packing on the glitter to make sure that it's covering the whole nail. All right, there you go. And then just fill it into the cuticles. All right guys, now that is done, I am gonna go in with the crystal clear powder and apply it on to the nails and as i'm pulling this down you guys notice how the clear powder is actually dragging the um the glitter away from the cuticle a little bit that is fine i'm just gonna go in and fill that in like right now there you go just fill it in again and then add a little bit of clear on top of it and i'll just be skipping the whole filing and buffing and this is done i'm just gonna go in with the not polished matte top coat on it and this is the finished product I hope you guys enjoy the video. Guys, what you think about that video? If you like it, make sure you guys give us a thumb up and give us a comment and make sure you ring the bell. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. For more cool videos, more cool tutorials and our previous videos and whatnot, make sure you click on the link over here and over here. <laughs> over here. <laughs> he said over there. <laughs> See you guys later. You can 